how has your definition of family evolved over time? Growing up, um, my parents had one biological daughter and the rest were adopted. So what I saw did not have much to do with genes or looks or these things that are that people think of first oftentimes when they're thinking of family. It's not my experience. The family is really uh, the people around us that are caring for us and, and, and not, not so much the genetic link. It, in tracking the family or tracking any, you know, true life story, a lot of it unfolds organically and you take what comes to you as a filmmaker, right? One of the things that you open the movie with, which seems so perfect, is uh, Angela's adoptive mom uh, talking about that book, The Puppy. This is one of the little treasure box that I have full of different things that I've collected in my life. And one of them is this little that came up right then when we were filming. There was a big tin can on the top of the shelf, and I was like, "Oh, why don't you bring that down and, kind of, you know, kind of product placement, put it there, It'll look good behind you." <laughs> and then she pulled it down. And she's like, "Oh, let me show you what's in here." And, and then there was that book, and she read it. I'm like, "Can you just do that on camera?" <laughs> like when I say go, many moments it just sort of came organically, and you obviously can't plan too much in a documentary. One of the, the sub-stories in there is, uh, is Kyle's story as well, since he's obviously adopted as well. I think for every adoptee to witness someone else's going through the journey of searching is, is going to be triggering for them in some way or another. I would have loved to have seen someone, another adoptee, go through this process and to know that it's not everyone's story. Everyone's doesn't work out exactly as mine and it doesn't flow the same. It might not take as long or it might take longer. It might never be found. Well, your story for the most part is fairly positive, but you know, the, the really heartbreaking moment initially is your first encounter with your birth mom. It was just really sad. I just felt so bad for her. When we got back to our hotel and she watched the video over and over and over trying to figure out what in this woman was her. Well, I, um, I wanted to believe what she said. I climbed back in the car with everyone and everyone else helped me realize, you know, that, that was her, you know, but I didn't want to believe it. Adoption is a provocative topic for people to begin with. Uh, transracial adoption is even more. I think it's a necessary uh, solution to an unfortunate need. It is uh, certainly another facet of parenting to incorporate that child's heritage and culture, and and I, I certainly don't think ever, it's right for everyone. But I think with the absence of other adoptive parents of color that this is the next best. When you're younger and your parents are Caucasian, people see adoption and they're like, okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But once an adoptee, transracial adoptee gets older and they're not under kind of the protection of white privilege, mm -hmm. it's like all of a sudden I'm just a black woman. You talk about taking this film out there to the public and you tour with it a little bit and I'm sure you, you have a lot of conversations with uh, other adopted kids, right? Mm -hmm. What is the thing that most uh, surprises you or saddens you in that, in that uh, connection with these audiences? I am saddened to hear adoptees state that they want to search for medical reasons mm -hmm. only. What I hear them doing is kind of making it easy for everyone else mm -hmm. if they're to say that I want to find my birth family so that I can have my medical information. That's a an easier thing for adoptive parents to swallow. Right. Um, Doesn't make for as good a movie, but keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that it, I really am hopeful that we can move towards adoptees being able to say, I just want to search because I just want to know my roots. Mm -hmm. And to have adoptive families, the parents understand that that's not them being replaced mm -hmm. it's not mean that they did not do a good job of parenting or but kind of the opposite that you did such a great job that the child or adult whoever is searching is seeking their identity now mm -hmm.